but now commands all men everywhere to repent. Amen. Amen. Because he has appointed a day mm -hmm. in which he will judge the world in righteousness by that man whom he has adored, ordained, mm -hmm. whereat he has given assurance unto all men in that he hath raised him from the dead. Mm -hmm. God places men where they are, in time mm -hmm. and in certain countries, in cities and neighborhoods, and even where you work and give you special abilities so that you may seek and find God. Amen. Mm -hmm. God even determines the number of your days on the earth. Then we pass away. Then we must give an account mm -hmm. of all that we have said and done Amen. on this earth. Amen. Yes. Job 14.5 says, Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him, that is his days, that he may rest till he shall accomplish as a hireling his day. Whatever we do in the sight of God, he will use us for his purpose if we are honorable in things of honor, if we are dishonorable, God will use us for his purpose. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul said to Timothy in 2 Timothy 2.20, But in a great house there are not only vessels of gold yeah. and of silver, but also of wood and of earth, mm -hmm. and some to honor and some to dishonor. Yeah. If a man therefore purge himself from these, mm -hmm. that is, useful us, mm -hmm. he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, Amen. and prepared unto every good work. Mm -hmm. Flee also useful us, but following after righteousness, faith, love, peace, mm -hmm. with them, that is, the body of Christ, that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. We are living in God's house. Whose house are you living in? Mm -hmm. Seeing his days are determined. What Job is saying, every man is given so many days on the earth, mm -hmm. and the Lord knows the number of months he shall live, yeah. and these are appointed by God, and no one can add or take away what he has been given and then he dies. Mm -hmm. It is like a labor given to work a work to do and is only for a few days. A person may only live a few hours or he li may live over 900 years mm -hmm. but his days are numbered. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Each, is a, each of us are given a work to do and whatever it is, God will use our labor for his purpose whether it is good mm -hmm. or bad. When a person comes to the end of her life, it seems like they were born just yesterday. We hear the saying all the time, life is too short. Mm -hmm. James 4.14 says, For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appears for a little time and then vanishes away. Mm -hmm. Amen. We are on the earth, it seems, for as but a moment compared to all eternity. Mm -hmm. But with the divine appointment of our death, for all men die, will our life yield eternal life with Christ, our Lord and Savior? We need to think about our divine appointment. We will, will we be judged worthy to have eternal life with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? Or because we chose the evils of this world, will we spend eternity away from the presence of God? Mm in which the Bible calls hell. Let us look at what Solomon said, the wisest man ever lived. Hmm. By the way, Solomon is with, uh, God gave Solomon mm -hmm. his wisdom and even spoke to him two times. Yeah. But with all his wisdom, he did not know God, hmm. who gave, him, gave it to him because he chose the evils of the world and therefore God was angry with Solomon. Yeah. In Ecclesiastes 2.11, Solomon said this, Then I looked on the works of my hands, 
had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do. And behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, mm -hmm. and there was no profit under the sun. In verse 18 he says, Yea, and I hated all my labor which I had taken under the sun, because I should leave it to one man that shall be after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool. Yet all he gave, all he had, yet shall he have rule over all my labor, wherein I have labored, and wherein I have showed myself wise under the sun. This is also vanity. Solomon knew he would die, and all he had would be left behind for someone else to use. And in most cases, will destroy or waste away. Mm -hmm. In Ecclesiastes 4.1, Solomon wrote, To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under heaven. In all of Solomon's wisdom, he wrote about life on this earth, but he forgot about the coming one, who will save mankind and take away all sin. Mm -hmm. Solomon lived under the old law and never knew forgiveness and a pure conscience from sin. No wonder he thought all a person's life was nothing but vanity of vanities. All is vanity. Another word version says meaningless, meaningless, utterly meaningless. Let's look at Job. A man declared that was upright in all he does. Can God say this about us? That we are upright in all that we do? Can, he can and He will if we are in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Job asked God in Job 14, 14, If a man die, shall he live again? Men have been asking this question throughout all of history. Is this it? Is that all there is? I need more time. Job didn't have the scriptures like we have today, but it was said by God he was upright in all he does. Mm -hmm. Job knew more about God than most people of our day. Yeah. And Job knew that there was life after the body yeah. died. That's right. Amen. If a man died, shall he live again? Job knew the answer. Mm -hmm. He said, all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come? Amen. Amen. Till my change come? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Job didn't have the scriptures like we do. Mm -hmm. He knew God and was upright in all he did. Mm -hmm. He was given less revelation about God than, we, than that what we have, and yet he was declared upright mm -hmm. in all he does. And I can add, God knew Job. Mm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Does God know you? What will He say about you? If you love Jesus, the Son of God, then God will know you, and you will know God. Amen. Jesus Amen. said, mm -hmm. If you love me and abide in me, I in you, my Father will abide in you also, mm -hmm. and will give you eternal life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. John 14, 23 says, If a man love me, he will keep my words, mm -hmm. and my Father will love him. And we will come unto him and make our abode with him. And he that hath my commandments and keep them, he it is that loves me. And he that loves me shall be loved by my Father. And I will love him and will manifest myself to him. Mm -hmm. yeah. Job knew that at the end of life, his change will come, and he was willing to wait for his change. Yeah. <laughs> we do not have to wait for our change to come at our physical death. Our change comes at our new birth, mm -hmm. when we are crucified with Christ and are buried with Him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Paul said in Romans 6, 3, Know ye not, or don't you know, that so many of us were baptized into Christ Jesus, were baptized into his death. Amen. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, 
that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Amen. For we have been planted together in the likeness of his death. We shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. We are changed at our new birth and at the operation of God. We are recreated into the new man like unto his body, Jesus Christ. Job 7, 1 says this, Is there not an appointed man upon the earth? Are not his days also like the days of a hireling? As a servant earnestly desire the shadow, the ending of a hard day's work, and as a hireling looketh for the reward of his work, so I am made to possess months of vanity, and wearisome nights are appointed to me. You and I are alike. When we are working at our job, we can't wait until our shift is over so we can go home and be with our families and rest. God gives people rest. In Hebrews 4.9, he says, There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God, for he that is entered into his rest, he also has ceased from his own works as God did from his. Mm -hmm. Let us labor therefore to enter into that rest, yeah. lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Mm -hmm. yeah. Psalm 114 says, Man goeth forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. Mm -hmm. The employment of a king in ruling the kingdom does not so far exceed that of the vilest slave as the heavenly employment exceeds that of an earthly king. God suits men's employment to their natures. Job knew that God created us to serve him. Our purpose on earth is to serve God. He sent his son Jesus that we should could have fellowship with him while we are here through the Holy Spirit. Many, however, serve to choose to serve the world and themselves and have no relationship with the Father or with his Son, Jesus Christ. Therefore, they cannot have rest and peace in this life or in the true life mm -hmm. after they die. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. yeah. Well, let us look at the beginning when, the, when this all began. In Genesis 1, 26, Then God said, Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. Mm -hmm. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful, and multiply, fill the earth, and subdue it. Have dominion over the fish of the sea, and over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves on the earth. God said, See, I have given you every herb that yields seed, which is on the face of the earth, every tree whose fruit yields seed, so you shall, so it shall be for you food also to every beast of the earth, to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, in that there in which there is life. I have even given you every green herb for food, and it was so. It is as if God was saying, I have given you life, I have given you the best place to live. I have given you the best of the garden to eat. I have given you to work and to tend the garden. And I have given you authority over everything that I have created. So don't lose all this. I have made good and perfect for you. Mm -hmm. God is also saying, this is your kingdom that I have given you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then God saw that everything that he had made and it, indeed, it was very good. So the evening and the morning were the sixth day. Amen. Here we are shown by the word of God, this was mankind's 
divine appointment. In all of this, God had a purpose for himself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because God knew man and what man is capable of because he made him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Amen. sin entered in and mankind fell because of sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 reads this way. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living soul. Mm -hmm. And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. And in verse 15, And the Lord God took the man and put him in the garden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man of every tree of the garden you may freely eat. But of the tree of good and evil thou shalt not eat of it. Mm -hmm. In the day that you eat it, therefore you shall surely die. We do not know how long Adam and Eve lived in the garden. They could have lived there a very long time, but it's not known how long they lived in the garden. They could have lived in the garden a very short time because of sin. It must have been a short time because they had not started to reproduce and have children. This was a beautiful place to live in. Man was complete in all his needs and all his needs were met and he, he even had a beautiful companion a helpmate he also heard the voice of God walking in the garden in the cool of the evening the garden it had every fruit tree for food it had water and sunlight <coughs> and Adam and Eve's purpose was to tend and work and take dominion to live and multiply in, in a very wonderful place. When Eve was tempted by the serpent, she did not realize that she was being tempted. But because she listened to a lie and did eat of the fruit that God forbade her to eat and her husband, Adam, what God said, they would die, happened. They sinned and all mankind died. Yeah. Yeah. Not only did the human race die, but all nature was affected too. Mm -hmm. yeah. All living things died. All humans died. Even the universe was su subject to corruption. Mm -hmm. Amen. There also came upon the world a darkness, mm -hmm. a spiritual darkness where man could not see the light of life. Mm -hmm. Therefore, men have been searching for enlightenment and true life ever since. When the purpose of God is finished, all the heavens and the earth will be destroyed, and a new heavens and earth will be made, and righteousness will dwell there with all the children of God who are in and with Christ. Romans 5.17 says, Wherefore, as by one man sin entered into the world, and death by sin, so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Mm -hmm. Amen. When man sinned, the enemy invaded the world, the earth invaded, and the earth became a war zone. Mm -hmm. No wonder could no one no longer could God have fellowship with Adam. God could no longer walk in the cool of the evening with his creation, mankind. Mm -hmm. Before Adam sinned, God had fellowship with him, but because man sinned, it brought a wall of separation between God and men. Yeah. Because all men have a need to worship and to, to fellowship with God and to hear his voice. Amen. Men have an emptiness in their hearts and souls, and they are looking for something to fill that hole. But the things of this earth cannot satisfy. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Apostle Paul had said in Romans chapter 1, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools mm -hmm. and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image make, made like unto corruptible man mm -hmm. and to birds and to four-footed beasts and creeping things. Mm -hmm. Men who are changed Men who change the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator 
who is blessed forever. Mm -hmm. Amen. Let me put it in today's language. Men have a need to worship, and they will make something of an object of worship because God is missing in their hearts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they will worship idols yeah. of, of things of this earth. Yes. Mm -hmm. They will worship famous people, mm -hmm. their own careers, sports, <coughs> money, drugs, drink, and the list can go on and on. Mm -hmm. God gives life, but sin brings death. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. From all of this, we can learn God has a purpose, and He's working out His purpose in all the earth in the midst of His enemies. Psalm 110 says, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion. Rule thou in the midst of thy enemies. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. Mm -hmm. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning, thou hast the dew of thy youth. How God is working out his purpose in the midst of his enemies. He's doing this by divine appointments. Mm -hmm. When you have the opportunity, read about the heroes of faith in Hebrews chapter 11 and 12. These heroes of faith can and do give us encouragement. We are told in Hebrews 12, it is by faith these heroes believed God and were made righteous. To the serpent, God said, I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. This is the first promise God made to Adam's race. A Savior will come. Mm -hmm. We are told that Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain. And she said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. In her heart, she believed that this was the one God promised that will come. Mm -hmm. The heroes of faith. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, mm -hmm. and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Mm -hmm. You will read in, in Hebrews, by faith Noah, by faith yeah. Abraham, yeah. Amen. through faith Sarah, by faith Isaac, by faith Jacob, mm -hmm. by faith Joseph, by faith Moses, by faith they passed through the Red Sea as by dry, by, by dry ground, mm -hmm. and by faith the walls of Jericho fell down. Mm -hmm. By faith the, har the harlot Rahab perished not with them mm -hmm. that believed not. And what shall I say more? For the time should fail me fail me to tell of Gideon and of Barak mm -hmm. and of Sap, Samson yep. and of Japheth, of David also and Samuel of the prophets. Mm -hmm. These all died in faith. Mm -hmm. They subdued kingdoms, walked wrought righteousness, mm -hmm. obtained promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched the violence of fire, escaped the edge of the sword. Mm -hmm out of weakness were made strong, waxed valiant in fight, turned to flight the armies of the aliens. Mm -hmm. Woman, women received their dead, raised life again. Others were tortured, not accepting deliverance, that they might obtain a better resurrection. And others had trial and cruel mockings and scourgings. Yea, moreover, a bond and in prison. Mm -hmm. They were stoned. They were sawn asunder. Mm -hmm. They were tempted. They were tempted. They were slain with the sword. They wandered about in sheepskin and goatskin, being destitute, afflicted, and tormented, of whom the world was not worthy. They wandered in deserts and in the mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. 
And these all, having obtained a good report through faith, received not the promise. Mm -hmm. God having provided some better things for us, mm -hmm. that they without us should not be made perfect. Mm -hmm. These all died in faith, not having received the promise, but having seen them afar off. They were persuaded of them and embraced them and confessed that they were strangers and pilgrims in the earth. For that they say such things declare plainly that they seek a country. Mm -hmm. And I can add, all these were given divine appointments for our learning. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians chapter 10, Paul said, Now all these things happened unto them yes. for our examples, yes. and they are written for our admonition, yeah. of whom the ends of the world are come. Amen. 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 Hebrews 12, 1 says, Therefore, seeing we are all com compassed about with so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does so easily beset us, and let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who, for the joy that was set before him, endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Job said, Our time on the earth is like a labor, working for just a short time. The Apostle Paul said, Our time is like running a race. And it's not easy. We struggle. We fight. It is like we are living in a war zone or in the enemy's camp. But when this life is finished, the labor or the runner will receive wages or will win. A prize. Mm -hmm. yeah. Let's look at the parable of the workers. For the kingdom of heaven is likened to a man that is a householder, which went out early in the morning to hire laborers in his vineyard. And when he had agreed with the laborers for a penny a day, he sent them into his vineyard. And he went about out about the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatever is right I will give you. And they went their way. Again he went out about the sixth hour and the ninth hour, and did likewise. And about the eleventh hour he went out, and found others standing idle, and said unto them, Why stand ye here all day idle? Hmm. They said unto them, him, because no man has hired us. He said unto them, Go ye also into the vineyard, and whatever is right, that will, shall ye receive. So when evening was come, and the Lord of the vineyard said to his stewards, Call the laborers, and give them their hire, beginning from the last unto the first. Have you noticed that all the laborers were called and they were paid the same wage? From the first to the last, all were paid a wage. Whatever we do in our life, we will receive wages. Mm -hmm. This is what happens when we work for our employer. We are hired to work and we, we receive wages that we earn. Jesus is like the householder who called the workers to work in his vineyard. He started early in the morning. This was like uh, when the earth was first created and needed to be tended. Then he went out the third hour and saw others standing idle in the marketplace. The marketplace is the world. Mm -hmm. Again he went out about the sixth and the ninth hour and hired workers to work in his vineyard. And about the eleventh hour, he went out and found others standing idle. And he said to them, Why are you standing here all day idle? It is as if we are living at the end of the church age. Men are standing around doing nothing. Mm -hmm. This is like all the people sitting in the pews in the churches of our day. They said to him, 
because no man has hired us, he said unto them, mm -hmm. You also go into the vineyard, and whatever is right, you will receive. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We are living in the eleventh hour at the end of the church age, and it is close to midnight, and we are enter entering into a, a time when no man can work. Mm -hmm. Or I should say that we are living in a time when no man is allowed to work. The church, or the body of Christ, is the vineyard. The workers are standing idle because the enemy in the modern church of our day has not told the people they are workers in God's vineyard. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they do not know they are in this world to labor for God. And that when this life is over, they will be paid. But it will not be a good wage. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 We are not alone in this life. God has pro provided for us a redeemer, a man born of a woman, a savior, a son who will save us from our sins. Mm -hmm. Amen. This one who was divinely appointed, who was called before the world, was created. This one came to do the will of God. He was like a laborer. He was here for a while, finished the work, and departed back to the Father. Amen. Mm -hmm. Let us now look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher. Amen. 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 In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was light, and the light was the light of men. And the light shineth in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. John 1, 1. Jesus said this about himself. I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Amen. Jesus spoke of being with God before the world was created. And now, O oh Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, mm -hmm. with the glory which I had with thee before the earth world was. Mm -hmm. John 17, 5. Mm -hmm. Jesus is eternally the same. In Hebrews 13, 8 it says, Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus was before at Abraham. John 8, 58 says, Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. Amen. Amen. In John, 1 John 1, we read, That which is from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked upon, and our hands have handled of the word of life, Amen. For the life was manifested, and we have seen it, and bear witness, and show unto you that eternal life, which was with the Father, and was manifested to us. That which we have seen and heard declare we unto you, that you also may have fellowship with us. And truly, our fellowship is with the Father, mm -hmm. and with His Son, mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 The purpose of God is to take for himself a people who are not a people mm -hmm. to be his very own Amen. people. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It has been predetermined before the world began that each person ever born has been, been given a divine appointment mm -hmm. and we all must be prepared to give an account mm -hmm. how we lived, whether good or bad. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. However, we who are in Christ Jesus are given to rule and reign over this old man mm -hmm. of sin. <laughs> Ephesians 1, verses 4 and 5 says, According as he has chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, having predestinated us into the adoption of children by Jesus Christ to himself, according to the good pleasure of his will. Mm -hmm. yeah. He created us, and in Christ he called us and recreated us. Mm 
Mm -hmm. And the saying is true. He bought us at a great price mm -hmm. to be his very own sons and daughters to work in his vineyard. Amen. Amen. How are, how are we to work in his vineyard? In Ephesians 4, we read, And he gave some apostles, and some prophets, Amen. and some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. We are all made pastors and teachers, prophets and evangelists, being taught by Jesus to be his workers in his vineyard. He equips us and even gives us a helper to teach and lead us in our divine appointment. Yeah. yeah. Amen. What a wonderful Lord and King. Amen. 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 Are there any questions or thoughts or comments this time?